Hello and welcome to my first YouTube video. I guess I should say welcome to my channel, guys. Um, this will be my first YouTube video. I'm really trying to make an effort to post on YouTube um, longer form videos. So I'm trying to get more comfortable talking to the camera. And this is my first day recording. I don't know if this is going to be like a little vlog or just snippets. But I want to record more of my life, like a little video diary and share it with you guys. So let's see what happens. I'm currently in my pajamas. I'm about to change. Um, I'll probably film some footage for TikTok or Reels, which I've also been trying to make an effort recently to post one Reel, one TikTok, at least every day. Yeah, that's what I'll be doing. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I'm really excited to start doing this. And I really appreciate all of you guys being here. And I'm excited to see where the YouTube journey goes. <laughs> so somebody was playing with his toy and then he was pretty curious about what the camera was doing. So this is what I'm wearing today. Um, we've got the come away with me cropped turtleneck with the little lettuce hem here. Um, this is the color meadow. This is my favorite, so cute. And then I'm wearing this skirt um, yet to be named. We'll see, but it is a future Shiny by Nature release. Um, you guys are getting the first peek. Then my flamingo super socks and my shoes, New Balance. Yeah, here's the whole look. Super cute, I think. <laughs> Just kidding, I actually changed because it's actually pretty cold outside. I'm wearing this, the wavy crop sweater vest with my sunny side up flamingo turtleneck and these pretty linen pants from Neto Studios then the same socks and shoes. I'm definitely feeling pink today so that's what's happening. Okay so since I'm so new to this I'm still figuring out how far away to hold my hand. So this is like the most I can extend my arm. I'm kind of short so I have short arms but let's see. Does this make sense? So we start to get some coffee for somebody and I am waiting patiently um, until he finishes the coffee. I am personally not a fan of coffee. My beverage of choice is definitely water 99% of the time. Sometimes I'll have a tea like green tea or black tea but I'm not a fan of coffee. So. He drinks more for the both of us. <laughs> How do you feel about coffee? Okay. <laughs> okay. So we made it to the Natural History Museum. And I was pretty excited to come to the museum because we haven't been in so long. Actually, I think we've never come together, but I came um, many times before, either by myself or with friends, so it was pretty special and I forgot how cool the museum is. There was a lot of stuff we saw today, although you can't really see everything in the museum um, in one visit, obviously, which is why I feel so grateful to live here. We can come much more often than, obviously, if you don't live here. Um, here we saw the dinosaurs we spent quite a while in the dinosaur exhibit and I saw this really cute collab with Hello Kitty with some um, fossil related merchandise and some space related that was so cute definitely a great collab but they could have done better honestly <laughs> then I saw this really cool recreation of what they thought one of the animals could look like and this cute message then I saw this very ironic sign that Exxon is actually sponsoring this part of the museum Hmm. We are sitting down and taking a little rest. There's a lot of walking in this museum. It's so big. I personally feel it's pretty profound to like be here as a person standing like I'm this tiny and the animals, especially like the dinosaurs, are like so massive. It's just so wild to think that they were walking around here 
the same place we are probably standing before. They were just chilling. Look, it's so cool, I think. I, I feel science is I interesting, but uh, also we should take it with a grain, grain of salt because there, there is no so-called uh, objective truth. Especially if some people, they, they think, they, can't, they see science as a objective truth and use that to uh, oppress other ways of understanding the world. I think that's also a, a very de dangerous and very de de deceiving thing. Uh, but why, why, why science is not an objective truth? Uh, for example, like the theory of a a evolution which seems like the museum is trying to pr promote, right? It's actually f full of flaws. E even sci scientists, bi biologists th th themselves, they uh, acknowledge uh, there, there are so many a aspects of the theory that they cannot provide very sufficient a evidence. Uh, for example, why why, for example, certain animals, their sound like horns in, in their tails, right? It, it seems pretty odd. And, and the th theory, it would say like, oh, there, there was a purpose, like it, it appeared to uh, adapt to certain environment. But actually, they could not find the fo fossils. For example, if, if there, there's a change ha happening, right? E even if it's a very sudden change from just the, the tail to the tail plus some horns. You you, you should find some 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 like in between stages. But I have a question. Like they're still currently discovering fossils. Yeah. So how do you know they don't like next week sure. they do an excavation and find one that's like red in the middle. But but what what but it, it is it is fa fa famous like known known to the. Like they they, 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 even have terms for it. Like, just like, 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 just blank space for, uh, for a, a, a super long pe periods of time in, 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 in history. They, they, they just couldn't find fa fossils. More like, s just certain periods. Well, the time that humans have been analyzing, like doing science, modern science, is so short. Okay, the, the, in relative yeah, yeah. to the millions of years of stuff that you could discover. Exactly. exactly. So the, how I can think, you expect them to already exactly. have discovered everything? Exactly. That, that, that's a very excellent point. That if you <laughs> a, a, acknowledge we are only doing this for for a, 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 a very short period of time, our knowledge is so limited, yeah. right? then you should not assume any theory to be absolutely true. But isn't that what scientific method is? Like, you're always going to find new evidence, so you should reanalyze yeah. and see how it fits in. Does it, like, like, back when they were thinking about the sun, right? They thought the Earth was the center of the universe because the sun, it became nighttime, right? But yeah. then after a few hundred years, they found out that it's actually not the center of the universe. Yeah, Nothing but, revolves around exactly, the Earth. But, but, but exactly. And you, they changed after some people even, died. Right? But even that theory, like today's theory, it, it, it may also be wrong, right? I guess if there's it, new it, evidence it, that comes up, people will have to change what exactly, they think may, is true. May, maybe in a few thousand years, we'll discover Earth actually is the center of the universe. Mm, that's not true. How do you know is exactly? Because everything is expanding. That's why they know about the big bang. But how, how are you That's exactly the point. Maybe how the, are maybe you sure? Maybe there's like new evidence. It's, it's like that, that's the hu 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 humility and humbleness yeah. that I'm talking about. Like, you have just uh, acknowledged that mm. science or in, in, just like in, in, in general human understanding of life, of the universe, it's, it's, it's very limited. Yeah. Right. We've only been the, like thinking yeah, 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 for exactly. such a minuscule. Th that's time. why. That's why we should not see these theories as already perfect. But it's the best we have for right now. So but what can you do? What can what can I do is Keep like questioning, but exactly. That's pretty solid for now. Uh, until there's I mean, new evidence. You know, like 200 years ago, people thought it was pretty solid. Yeah, exactly. A theory and that's fine that for them. God 
created the whole universe, and Earth was the center of the world, and it was pretty solid. Mm. At, at, at that time, gave me all the evidence. It was pretty solid. So the, the, but then it was debunked. Then, and those people still believe years, their lives. In 200 years, yeah. our theory will also be debunked. And then that's okay. Then they'll look back on us and say like, oh, they were so dumb, they were believing in this. And just like we look back at the other people. The, but, but that's the point. And that's fine. That's the point. How can you fight it? No, no, yeah. I'm not trying to fight anything. <laughs> <laughs> My emphasis again is the hu humility, mm. and part of humility is not to deem other people, people of the past, what people have different views, mm. as dumb. Yeah. And they are simply dumb, <laughs> and you are right. <laughs> and you have the right to po point finger at other mm. people and say you are dumb. I know better than you mm. because you never know. You think you know better. That that's like yeah. they're, they're like chi Chinese defeat people or whatever. Mm. People who think they are the smart, they actually made the, the dumbest mi 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 mistake. Yeah. And sometimes the dumbest people that, that you think is that Dao Taoism, right? Yeah. <laughs> the dumbest people that you think, oh, they are just wa walking around, the ho 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 homeless, maybe you think they, they are crazy people. Mm. They actually have the bi biggest wi 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 wisdom in the world. They can mm. be the great, great the, the greatest philosophers. Yeah. Exactly. Also, like for, for me, like uh, for example, like from from your perspective, you are amazed by the scale and size of everything, right? When you look at these things. Yeah. But, but on, on that same note, I think I can also empathize what connect with people who think like there's a creator, there, there, there's, a, there's a God. What, what like, like, because it's so, it's, it's so uh, um, um, amazing, it's beyond our imagination. I, I, I can imagine for example, that back 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 then, what 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 even now when you encounter things thing, things like this, it is very reasonable to imagine there's like a divine creator. Mm. Like why the horns like tw twist it? Like why there's like a just DNA. What DNA? That's their genetics. That 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 that's a science theory, right? But like. I feel like there, there's actual room for many, many different theories, and they are not necessarily wrong. They are just different per perspectives. Yeah. I, 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 I can. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. The, the, the museum is a, it's a place where the, the, this, yeah. this, this is this is the nature of science. Like, no, yeah. no one of us assumes we are right, mm -hmm. right? We are just here to de 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 debate. We share our per perspective. Yeah. And we try to understand each other's per perspective. Yeah. And we learn learn from each other. Yeah. It's not that science is against the theology and theology against science. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's not like that. We are just d different perspectives. All perspective ha ha has their value. You know that? In that way, we might actually achieve a more universal perspective that is beyond, that transcends any individual perspective that, that we have. Yeah. I mean, I think let's just stay curious, stay pursuing. Exactly. And, yeah. and don't deem other people as dumb and just wrong. Mm. I think that, that, that <laughs> if one thing there's one thing that science can teach us. It, it, it is that don't don't easily dismiss mm. a, anyone or a, any theory. Yeah, I mean you can easily see that in like the example I said earlier about the the sun. Right? Like, exactly. They it, they figured it out, and people wanted to it, kill if him. It, if you see right? so so many people, so many theories have been wrong in the past, mm. you should have the humility to admit you are probably also wrong. So, I mean, you don't have to say probably. There's we are definitely camp. wrong. Never, we are definitely wrong. How do you know? If you can't just say there's a chance. Who uh, knows? There's a there very high chance. The, the, the only thing is that they said the quote from Socrates. Like the, 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 only, the only thing I know is that I, 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 I don't know anything. <laughs>
Yeah. That 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 that's the true uh, true true spirit of science. Okay, the true spirit of science. So we saw some more pretty cool fossils, like this bear and this other dinosaur. And then we came across a sign that I thought was really interesting that said, basically, in conclusion, all of this um, information is here, but we still don't know much about dinosaurs. So there's a lot of open-ended questions, and we might never know, which I thought was really amazing. I think like th this kind of a a a a exhibition, the the point is not should not be to to tell you what the right answers are, but actually uh, encourage you or inspire you to ask more questions and to find the holes in in those theories, and maybe one day to prove what you are seeing wrong, to prove them wrong, and that that should be the the best purpose, the best value that this kind of exhibitions can give you. I was just saying that I couldn't believe when I discovered that sort of like recreations like this where they show you what they think that bones put together would look like as a living animal is not actually what they looked like. It's literally just these dinosaur scientists imagination. And the color. And the colors, yeah, the colors are not known it could have been like pink or purple um in the wild like as a living animal but this is literally just their guessing and we have no idea what they actually look like i think that's pretty crazy yeah yeah that that that, that reminds me of like for example when we think of the greek greek and Ro Ro roman sculpture it's like cream right white white it's like pure but actually uh, some some years ago, they they discovered like at, at that time all of the sculpture were actually all painted bright color, mm. like 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 bright red, blue, yet ye yellow. They're like like cr crazy vi 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 vibrant color. Mm. Just over the years, all, all the color d disappeared. So a, a lot of things just our, our imagination, and no one knows what what was yeah. the right answer. But I think that's why it's beneficial to know, like what I said, this is not real, like this is not the true depiction, it's just the imagination. But I think it's good to know that because it could literally have been anything. It's just what someone has drawn or, I mean, I'm sure these are made by like artists of some sort um, that came from their mind, but you never know. So I think that's why it's good to know that it's not the true. Yeah. Like you said about the Greek sculptures, I also read about like in China, the the sculptures that were buried with the emperors, they also after they were exposed to the air, they lost all of the color and beautiful. Yeah, it, it's it's like paint. If you if you think about like the bronze, if you go 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 the mat, you see that the the ancient Chinese the, the bronze, the, those like ba ba vessels, mm -hmm. they're all green, right? But it's because of the oxidation? Yes, yes. So at, at, at that time, it was all like bright golden. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, it's to yeah. totally different. Yeah, but I think it's good to know that. Because if you just see the object, you just see the dinosaur drawing, you think like, oh, that's the dinosaur. It's like a picture of how they looked. That's what I'm just saying. The knowledge of that things, things are different. Um, so all, pretty all, always ask questions. Yeah. Always stay curious. So after the museum, we headed out because they were about to close and we were hungry. So we headed to go eat some dinner, went to barbecue, and I was really excited because we were hungry. I got some egg soup, but it wasn't that good this time. Um, but the tofu was very good, my favorite. Then we got some seaweed soup also, along with obviously the main dish, which was meat. And it was very yummy. Definitely one of my favorite um, meals and we got some dessert to end the meal. Were you sleeping? Oh, <laughs> stretching, stretching. So we just got back home from eating dinner and I am ready to put my pajamas on and get comfy for the night. Taking off my jewelry. I just finished um, washing my face, 
and changing into my pajamas and I still have a lot of work to do today so I will probably um, I need to work on editing the footage that I took earlier and then post on reels post on TikTok and then I will work on editing this YouTube video which I'm very excited um, my first video will be complete um, I'm really excited and appreciative if you watched all the way through thank you so much and I'm excited to see where we go with this so let me know down in the comments if there's anything that you would like to see me make um, and if not thank you so much for watching I really appreciate any um, support appreciate you thank you bye